Yo, what up guys? Welcome to Jack Stop to another adventure. So Coach and I were in LA today and went in LA, a Chinatown. So join us as Jack Stop to LA's Chinatown. Let's go. All right, so before we go ham in Chinatown, let me give you guys a very quick history of LA's Chinatown. So believe it or not, the gold was actually discovered here in the LA region before the whole NorCal gold rush thing. It's just that it never went viral, so people continued filtering through San Francisco. And eventually the Chinese people, they made it down here to LA. And early on, aside from building railroads, they were also general laborers. They were building LA up because LA wasn't even a city back then, you know? So essentially they settled in the place called Old Chinatown, which is where Union Station is. And this Chinatown right here is like the newer version of it, but that's where the current Chinatown is. So we can go check it out. All right, so in the very front, we see a lot of activity going on. That's just like what I want to check out. But also over here, not the bus, but <laughs> we have the Tiuzhao Weigun. This temple looks sick. And then pure Chinatown fashion, we're in Jaywalk. Chinatowns are the same. Look at that art right there. Is there eight deities? Too bad it's not the touch scene though. But look at the design here. The dragon, wow. Let's see if I can get a closer look in there. Wow, look, at, look up there. That is so colorful, so intricate too. And then this is the Guan Dai Mu, similar to the Quan Tai Temple in Mendocino. Wow. All right, jaywalking again, like true Chinatown fashion. This time is not as scary. All right, so let's check out this area right here. We got clothes. So that side is like a lot of clothes business. So I want to check out this place out. So we got kind of like a Western medicine. And then you got markets over here. People mountain, people sea. If you want to get groceries, more groceries. And then you have your miscellaneous shops over here. And check it out, like San Francisco, this Chinatown, the street names are also in Chinese too. And let's see, on the side streets, not much going on, so let's keep going straight. A lot of activity going on here though. All right. So this is like, reminds me of Grand Avenue where you buy like a lot of those touristy stuff. So, A lot of souvenirs. Oh wow. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's pretty sick. <laughs> All right. You got deli. People just selling some like fruits on the streets, but they look fresh though. Look at those mangoes, dude. They're huge. But look at the bananas, they're small. <laughs> Let's see, I do see a plaza over there, but let's finish this part first. So again, more souvenir shops. And look at this fresh seafood. Wow, you want your seafood guys. And then I feel like a lot of these shops, they sell the same thing. So the prices are probably the same too, but you might want to check it out if you want to buy stuff like this. Yes. And then here we have the Chinese medicinal store right here. And more shops. <laughs> There's like every shop we see, they sell these kind of hats. And this is one of the weapons my mom used when I was a kid. Aside from the gaimo, so they used that shit to beat my ass. And this plaza right here, I mean, it looks nice, but it looks pretty close. All right. <laughs> What's up with us, Jaywalk? I mean, alright, 
So we do have more. This is like a different like store. They sell dresses here, not like those hats. But today is a day of jaywalking. We're gonna. Try to make it happen. All right, another jaywalking mission right here. Also not as intense. So yeah, check out this Yundong uh, Center, which is like Far East Center. And then I'm gonna take the handicap because I'm sometimes I feel like I'm a handicap person in the head. Tiu food. She got some of the food they have here. But they're not open though. Oh man. Oh man. Hoja. Yeah, this plaza looks closed as hell. But I do want to check out upstairs though. Oh. I see a stairway right there, so we'll continue exploring this area first. They also have a haircut place. At least someone's open if you want a haircut. Confucius say, work smart, don't work hard. All right, so now we're upstairs now. They still got the lanterns up here. I mean, this is very nice for pictures, but there's nothing open. <laughs> so for reference, we're here on a Monday, so maybe that's why a lot of shops are closed, but who knows? <laughs> All right, so since we didn't eat anything, we we'll ordered some dim sum real quick. We're not gonna eat too much, probably because there's hella food here in Chinatown. So I got the hot gal. You got the pork bun. Damn, what is that, guy? And then we also have siu mai for coach. And then I got ten. Oh shit! I only ordered one, but auntie sack no bejo alarm ki wo. Ah. Anyways, let's eat first. This is better than sex. All right, so right there, that's the Sui Sing Gong San Wei, the Sui Sing Association, and we saw a lot of those when I was doing like the NorCal Chinatown. And then over here. We have the Tin Hao Gong, which I believe is from Taiwan because Taiwanese people, a lot of them are Taoist. And this is a Taoist temple, I believe. So yeah, let's go check it out. Again, look at all these intricate designs. Wow. Oh. Like I'm not a religious person, but I really gotta say, people put a lot of money into religious establishment, like churches, cathedrals, temples. And like I said, even though I'm not religious, I appreciate the art. Check out all these artwork right here. Wow. The color. They still have the same motif, but the dragon here looks a lot better. The, the blondie dragon. <laughs> Check out the inside of it. Wow. This one is super fancy. Check out all these weapons. They're gonna beat your ass with style too. The staffs. Wow. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. 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 <笑>你今天很彩呀 Okay, you <笑> Even got some temple fishes right here. Wow. 
Check this out, guys. This has to be the fanciest temple I've ever been to in the US. All right, so so far it seemed like today is just a temple day. So let's get back to Chattown. Let's go. All right, so I know we're gonna check out Chattown again, but it looks like another temple. <laughs> just kidding, this is a shopping center right here. And then right across the street, we have the most Chattown looking Best Western. Check that out, guys. Wow. So aside from being a Best Western, it's also a Dragon's Gate Plaza or center. Let's check this place out. What is this angel right here? Right here, Chattown Coffee. Coach is a coffee enthusiast. Wow, so this is pretty much it, <laughs> I guess. It's a very aesthetic looking plaza. And that's where you register for your hotel. Oh, look. I wonder if they used this back here in Chattown, like back in the days. All right, so you know how they say that things in Chattown are usually cheaper? But check out the gas prices here. Damn, $5, regular. Oh, check out this place. Look at this apartment, dude. Look at the colors of it. And Mei Ling. Song Mei Ling, that is Chiang Kai-shek's wife, the first lady of the Republic of China. So right here we have a plaza. Damn, look at how old this looks. So this, I believe, was created after the old Chat Town. And some of the stuff here is from the 30s. But just look at the aesthetics. Look at the design, the colorful colors. That's redundant. They should put some color on this one right here. Zhongzhen. Zhongzhen is another name for Chiang Kai-shek. So we have Chiang Kai-shek right here, and then we have Mei Ling, his wife, on the other spot right here. So yeah. And if you want to read more about the history of Chinese people here, it's right here. Well, let's check it out. Old streets of Chinatown look like this, guys. 1888. So once again, the Hop Second Town. We saw a lot of this in NorCal too. And then check out these buildings right here. Check out the color. Look at the design, the roofs. And a bright pink building. I've never seen a pink Chinese building before. And then we got the gate here. I believe this was also erected in uh, 1938 or something. And judging from the back of this guy, I am going to guarantee this is a Sun Yat Sen right here. Let's see. Yep, the founding father of the Republic of China. Right here. Rush Hour was filmed here, Jackie Chan. You've never seen Jackie Chan like statues though. So check that out guys. We have the Long Gong Tan Yui, another association. And then we also have the So Yun Tong. We did also see a lot of those in NorCal too, but Look at the design, nice. And we also have a Royal Pagoda Motel right here. All right, so this is the Phoenix Bakery. It's been around since the 1930s. I forgot what it's famous for, but you can see Sung Fong, so double Phoenix. And Phoenix is known for what, resurrection, revival. So the two desserts that revive you are the Dan Tat and the Bolo Bao. So they probably sell those in there too. A Bing Gong Town. We saw this all over the place too. So we see a lot of the associations all over California. Doesn't matter if it's NorCal or SoCal. Alright guys, so my bad for keep shooting these videos from across the street, but this is the best place to get the full view of it. You have the Gongzhou Guomiu. I believe Gongzhou is a region in China, I'm not too sure. And then we have the Zhonghua Weiguin, which is the Chinese association. But look at the looks of the building, the aesthetics. Wow. Alright, there's something I want to see across the street. So once again, jaywalking. Today's like jaywalking and also temples. So what I wanted to show you guys, actually I actually wanted to see this myself also, is this piece of tile art. So four pretty women fishing, and then I don't know what, is this a guy or a girl, but whatever, observer. And then you got four lovely ladies fishing. We have some of the Chinese mythical uh, legends. Feng Fao, and that's one thing I understand. And then you have the deities over here. And then here we have 
an art of Chinese landscape. All right, that I really want to go check out, the Saigon Plaza right there. You also have a Chinatown Plaza too, so... Yep, we're on a mission to jaywalk all day today here in Chinatown. Yep. Alright, so here we have the Saigon Plaza. Nowadays it's known as Ho Chi Minh. But as you can see, during the Vietnam War, the Vietnamese refugees from the South, they came here. So that's why they maintained the name Saigon. And we might even see some old Southern Vietnamese flags here. But wow, this reminds me of Asia for real though. Those markets. Anything you want to find, you can find it here probably. Oh yeah, I need some of those. These I need for my large man boobs. Yeah, too bad I'm not a shopping enthusiast, but this would be a perfect place to bring like girlfriends and stuff. Fancy Hawaiian shirts. We're the knockoff brand. I mean, some of these are pretty nice. I can see myself wearing this one day. <laughs> That'd be troll. If I, if I was wearing that, exploring Chinatown, people would be like, what the hell is this guy doing? But I'll be legit though. At that point, I wouldn't even care actually. All right, that's pretty much it. It's time to get out of the Saigon Plaza. Here we got a jewelry mart. I'm not really interested in jewelry. So if you want jewelry, just go ahead and go in there. We also have street vendors, fresh fruit. Banana will love it. <laughs> and jackfruits. Oh yeah. All right, now it's time for some big-ass Chinatown food. Now, Coach, you can put food away, but even he's like, can't finish this. I think I already have. Check this out. This is the combination wonton meat, and he got the watan ao yo pan. Let's see how, how much we can finish this. Let's go. Part of the Chinatown experience. All right, so for the combination, they got shrimp, they got chicken, they got cha siu, they got squid, they got wonton. Bok choy, they got everything. I'm a greedy person, so I want everything in my food. This is better than sex. All right, so we're pretty much done with this part of Chattown. I gotta say, compared to San Francisco, it's a lot wider. Because, you know, in San Francisco, the buildings are, you know, taller, so it feels more congested. Also, the streets are more narrow. So now we're gonna head over to Old Chattown. Yo, check it out, guys. A giant white cock. That's where they sell chicken right there. All right, so to get to Old Chinatown, we gotta go through this part, El Pueblo. A lot of Spanish or Mexican influence right here. And some of these buildings right here, I believe they're like from the old 1800s too. So right over there, that is El Pueblo, or also known as the birthplace of LA. This is where LA started, and this is where Old Chinatown used to be. And you might be wondering, what happened to Old Chinatown? Well, actually, a lot of things happened here. So in 1871, there was the Chinese massacre, where a whole bunch of Chinese people got destroyed by a group of white and Hispanic mobs. They came in here, they killed a bunch of people, they looted the whole place. And then in 1882, we had the Chinese Exclusion Act, right, where they banned Chinese people from immigrating to the U.S. And then in 1886, the U.S. went to a depression and they had the boycott of Chinese goods. And one more thing I want to show you guys is over here, the freeway entrance and down there, right there, that is the Union Station. So essentially, the city wanted to build the on-ramp and also the Union Station and that pretty much completely destroyed old Chinatown. So that's why nowadays Chinatown is over there by where it used to be like a French and Italian place. Wow. Look at that old writing over there. Alright guys, so that's Chinatown for you guys. Had a great day, great experience. If you guys are ever here in LA, you guys should check out Chinatown. So that will do it for this time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until my next video, Jack's off and Jack's out.